Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, sweetie. How are you? Uh, we got a storm on the way. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, look at that. Rain's coming, and it is still hot and sweaty and miserable. So tonight we want to talk about something kind of cool and crazy, something probably not most of us think about on a daily basis, including myself, but something recently has really sparked my curiosity with it, so I thought, why not? Let's check it out. Maybe some people have had the same experience. So here's my curiosity. I've recently started trying to think about manipulating the both performance and behavior of my kids using sunlight, exercise, food, and the absence of screens. It is well documented. The people that invented these screens, like the one I'm talking into right now, your Apple, your Bill Gates, all these people, all are on record for saying that they would absolutely not let their child use these, uh, especially like without being monitored, unmonitored, uh, because of, they know that the cognitive dissonance that they create, especially uh, screen dependence. I mean, I've seen babies as young as several months old that you can, you can tell that, you know, the screen is just laid in the car seat and that's what they attach to and there's a severe amount of anxiety that's created when, you know, children hear a noise without seeing what it's coming from. You can just tell. So the screen itself has a lot of um, blue light and blue light has a profound, pretty profound effect on our circadian rhythm and our digestive rhythm because that is the same uh, volume of light that's coming through the sunrise in the morning is blue light. It jump starts our brain. It tells us, hey, let's get up, let's get going. And in the sunset is the red light. Now, if we're still staring at a screen, guilty, at the end of the night, our circadian rhythm is not going to shut down well and there's a better chance, especially after we're trying to lay in bed, we're never gonna access deep sleep or REM sleep, especially if we're not sleeping in a, a really dark room, if we've got lights on, if we've got a TV going, we're basically just gonna kill ourselves slowly over time just because of the sleep thing. Now, what I've started to do with my younger two boys is this. At breakfast time, we will have a really uh, good serving of high fat, raw, unpasteurized yogurt. Make it at home, it's easy to make. And so we got a lot of fat. And after that, we will try to take no screen time, no TVs are on. Uh, I will try to get them down for an early nap by giving them a high carb load at about for 10, 30, 11 o'clock snack. And we can get them down for an early nap. And that's been really successful this week. We've had a really good luck with that this week. And then the girls for lunch, they will, be, they will get both protein and high fat for breakfast and lunch. So I'm getting a lot better uh, response from like not the blank stare after you give a multi instructional command like can you do this this and this and they remember and retain all three and all three are done if we have a day where like today obviously we had some pool parties and stuff or like Sunday we were we were treated to uh, snow cones by our awesome neighbor Brenda Wooten uh, love that stuff gotta happen however it will take on average a day and a half to two days to get them back into focus mode where they're not you know wrangled in and if you're not I mean by no means this is like you, you have no sweets or no nothing for our kids yeah we we do popsicles we do that stuff too but well, my curiosity with having them at home is trying to optimize their behavior, like the boys obviously trying to optimize the, the those knockdown, drag out, just complete ball session, you know, 
those I don't do I don't deal well with those so if there's little things that I can biohack to make those things not happen I'm gonna do it uh, and then at night best case scenario is we have the sc all screens off TVs cell phones 45 minutes before we go to sleep I have really been trying to be a lot better about it I am NOT this is my confession <laughs> anyway so trying to optimize their sleep their behavior and their performance and focus doing those little things having carbs before sleep so we get a blood sugar spike in that crash uh, that has really started to help now obviously like we're not fasting our children that is more of like a rite of passage later once they you know they become older this is not you know anything like what we talked about two nights ago uh, just trying to do things where we're cutting out certain things certain parts of the week to try to make sure that you know if we're out and about we have a long day you know in public doing something we're not having to battle the cry scream sessions and we can we can do that with food kid here's the bottom line of this whole message right here kids that eat crap perform like crap that's it done um, so we do a lot of things when we travel like uh, we'll do canned okra they love okra they call them pickle sticks like kids love dill pickles we just can okra uh, we'll do hard-boiled eggs and they can flavor them how they want Kennedy loves them with hot sauce so it's like really high quality stuff and I usually don't have a problem with them when I'm on the road and we we have had really good luck with it but I'm curious if you guys have any like things that you do for like Whole Foods or something like that maybe something you can or something you make at home that you have used like uh, we make our own cheese sticks mozzarella cheese sticks we'll take that to high fat uh, really good long-term energy uh, we try not to do a lot of fruit stuff just because it's I mean it's just sugar it's all it is anyway uh if you got something cool ideas i'm open i'm i'm moldable and my ears are ready so anyway we got something totally different coming up tomorrow night nothing with food or anything like that so maybe that might trigger your curiosity anyway i hope you guys are doing well let's all welcome the cool weather that's coming in thank you jesus for the rain tonight and have an awesome night of hopefully some deep and REM sleep. Uh, turn your screens off. Let's all go to bed. See you guys tomorrow.